This episode of Island Nature Reborn, produced by the Moriwood Film Industry Artists Association, is brought to you by the MOL Charitable Trust and the National Social Inclusion Foundation of Mauritius. Welcome to Island Nature Reborn, a channel where you will discover the social and environmental initiatives by the people of the Indian Ocean. When we started 16 years ago, we were very concerned by the state of some children in some cité, as we call them in Mauritius. And we discovered a deep poverty and we tried our best until now to really help the poor. And of course, it starts with children. So in 2006, uh, I started to go on the field with some friends and we, we were helping some children in uh, some uh, very underprivileged area in the island. And we started like that with some uh, French, English lesson, mathematics, dinners, and we have been registered in, since 2007, which makes us having 16 years this year. And we are located a bit everywhere on the island, more in the south, west region and center region. We are addressing the problem of poverty through different uh, programs, uh, but mainly through education, empowerment and community development. So as from the beginning, we are really put ourselves into really make um, educational activities and programs that are suitable for uh, the most vulnerable children. So of course we started with some uh, pre-primary school, but also with a lot of uh, educational activities that can fit the, the most vulnerable. At Tireillon Soleil, there is there are so many things happening that each, each day is different. We do not have any day that resembles the, the previous one and we don't know what's happening the next day because we always have to face situations, emergencies, we have to cater for the families, we have to take care of the children. The kids are really happy to be at the school every day so they came and they are just themselves. Sometimes we have some cries, usually at the beginning but we take care of them every day so that uh, we have a holistic approach in our, in our school so we have teachers who are there just to accompany them and get them through, the, through their day. We need to, to be strong, to be able to cope with situations which are not really happy sometimes. But our team, we are a family. The family is here to cater for the needs of every children under our responsibility and all the beneficiaries as well. The team works so well together um, and every day that I come to work, um, the, I just feel peace of mind knowing that we have a great team behind us giving the needs to the children, to the beneficiaries, to the parents, um, to everyone concerned. Um, it's, it's a wonderful place. And since joining, it's just changed my life. Um, it, it's so stress-free. I can see the good that we're all doing for the, the in society, those who are vulnerable. So for other years, now over 15 years, uh, we've seen many communities transform. Uh, we've seen many families come out of the poverty line. We've seen entrepreneurial uh, initiatives start like uh, caterers and companies that was formed out of micro businesses um, and we've also seen uh, pre-primary schools started in different communities now we get to reach uh, uh, three districts on this island. Tireillon Soleil has always advocated for partnership with other organizations so we have a collaboration and constant collaboration with other institutions who work in our field but also they have other resources that we don't have so it's important for us to work together and, and uh, emphasize on this networking that we have. So for other years we have implemented many projects uh, and it wouldn't have been possible without the help of our different partners and so we would like to take this opportunity to thank 
leaving our foundation for their continuous support throughout the years to help us with the educational support uh, projects. Um, also, special credit to MOL uh, Charitable uh, Trusts for helping us starting the uh, pre-primary school in, in my board. We want to thank the NCIF too for their great contribution in helping us improving the lives of the children of the after school and other programs in six locations in Mauritius. Um, also with the youth uh, programs with Ecovadis and Providus that have helped us to reach a new segment and ongoing projects with the youth uh, within the different regions. We want to thank everyone who has been a real support to us throughout these years. They have, some people have given us food, some people have given us clothes, some people have given us their time, and we want to thank each one of them. May, may, may they be the sponsors or anyone who wanted to just give a little support, a little contribution to help the children at Tirayon Soleil. We want to see uh, more communities empowered. We want to see uh, less poverty and we want to see more financial independent families that can uh, thrive for the communities. And I encourage anyone to, to come, who would like to come and participate, join us, to do so, to, to reach out to us because we, we need help um, on a constant basis, whatever means it is. Small, big, time, money, everything. Um, expertise, um, please join us in, in our endeavours to uh, fight poverty. For the future, of course, we aim to be able to continue to support the Mauritian society as we are doing today and we will try our best to continue the, that level of good education and empowerment with the youth, the women and the most vulnerable in the society. For me, Tireillon Soleil has a real meaning because the little rays of sunshine are the children and what we see we have given the children, um, how they improve on a daily basis, on a weekly basis. Um, and from three years old up to when they leave us in youth, we, they just become a ray of sunshine and it's, it's a big rainbow, it's, it's, it's a happy place. And as Ellen Keller said, alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. And I will add for Tireillon Soleil, together we are so much stronger. So we value partnerships and we welcome you at Tireillon Soleil. Our special thanks to the MOL Charitable Trust and to the National Social Inclusion Foundation for having supported the production of this episode of Island Nature Reborn.